Let me have both of you introduce yourselves, please. Hello, my name is Bradford Smith. And I'm Graylin Early. Okay, now you're both representatives of the Thurgood Marshall Leadership Academy. And I just want to ask you a few questions here. Now, first of all, uh, Mr. Early, now you serve also, you serve as the school dean and everything else too, it seems like. Yes, um, I'm the dean of students. I handle all discipline at Thurgood Marshall Leadership Academy and also teach uh, music production. Okay, now within the school, what, you know, when, when the school was first formed, what was your intention to do differently or do better? Or what defines the mission of what you are, are accomplishing with the school? Um, when I came, I came in the second year um, since the school had started and the school is based on high expectation and no excuses. So um, when we started, we didn't have any sports um, at the school. So my goal was to, to bring something, to bring the arts to the school. I know they had it for a period, but then um, somehow just got lost. And so I kind of pe picked up uh, where they left off as far as offering um, the arts. So I started a, a music program before I came to Thurgood. I was in Fort Wayne Community Schools. I taught uh, the same uh, music production and songwriting at Miami Middle School uh, in Fort Wayne Community Schools. So I took that, brought it over here to Thurgood, um, and just tried to give them something different, um, uh, something to counter just the sports and not having sports, um, and give them something different. That was my whole intentions on when I came, not only dealing with the discipline and helping that out um, um, in this urban community and also giving them some, some tools and some um, skills to learn at the age that they are that could potentially earn them money even right now. So. All right, so now Mr. Smith, now when you came into the picture, or what attracted you to the picture? Did you know of Mr. Uh, Early when you first came in? And what are you bringing to the table? Because you're also involved in the music aspect of these uh, young people. Right, so when Mr. Early brought me in, um, actually this summer, um, me and him, we worked together on our on production side in different studios, um, DC Track Studios. We also have worked with almost every artist in the Fort Wayne area. And um, my experience at the time, actually living in Vegas, he called me, he gave me a call and said, hey Brad, remember the music program I had? Well, I need your help because, um, you know, he's the dean, he's also a wrestling coach at Indiana Tech. So I was at the crossroads of coming back to my town, Fort Wayne versus Vegas, but to be honest, um, it always been in my heart to give back to the community. And I realized with some of the conversations we had of how he already had the program set up that I can actually make an impact. Now, you know, my, my mindset was, you know, like every inspired musician, artist, movie star, anybody with big dreams is, yes, I'm gonna make a million dollars, then I'm gonna give back to the community. But um, we had several talks with, um, different you know people in the community and different people that actually have made it and they said you know you can start giving back to the community now because of this music program y'all got so that's kind of like my involvement and um since I was traveling because we always been a team we never like separated like I usually was the one going out of town so like the last three years as I was traveling we got to already with us, you know, we, we got small accomplishments like doing TV production for different shows. We have been able to bring um, Grammy producers to Fort Wayne. So some of the kids have access to that just to, you know, for them to have that experience. So that's kind of like my involvement. So now I'm here in Fort Wayne at Thurgood Marshall helping the music program to take it to the next level. Well, you know, I noticed that, you know, speaking with other people, over the years, a lot of times when you want to bring back your gifts to the community, um, it's one thing to want to do this, but it's another thing to have your concept or idea um, uh, be grasped 
you know, by the young people. And I've noticed that the young people here are grasping your ideas because they talk about the both of you. Uh, Mr. Early, what have you done to either to uh, to penetrate their defense mechanisms or, or, or do you really get through to the people that you're trying to serve? Uh, I, I believe in it. It's just all about building relationships. Um, it doesn't matter uh, from young to old or old to old uh, as we speak, uh, but um, it's just about building relationships. Um, getting on a level, I'm not too, I won't say I'm like old, but I'm older, but uh, even being older than them, we still can have certain things in common and music is something that is so common amongst people i mean it's a universal language um, that uh, we all can understand through the music and so the kids love the music i love music um, and that's our connection and you know through various other incidents whether i'm because i'm the dean uh, if I have to get on them, discipline them, they know I care about them. They know I'm not going to let anything happen to them. Um, and so uh, that's where we start We start everything, is building those relationships. So now as we have those relationships built, you can be able to teach them and be able to and uh, have them be able to really open their mind to what we're saying and giving to them as mentors. So. Okay, now Mr. Smith, now, you know, as you instruct these kids and get their interest and, and, and try to mold them, what is the connection between um, succeeding in one thing, you know, what you're trying to teach them, and succeeding in that? How does that spill over to their other classes and other aspects that they're dealing with? Well, um, I really believe with the music program, or with any music program, whether it's because ours is kind of abstract, because um, at the middle school level, it's a very rare that kids actually get a chance to even learn about music production, music in engineering. So um, we are giving our kids um, something that we know they have never experienced. So that going into other classes, it really helps their on mine because they have been so used to you know doing math doing reading and they have to do it for a certain amount of time that when they do music it's like it's an outlet for them and um on top of that because the different experience of us being in the studio and actually doing things outside of the school um they get to meet different people that um that's very successful so they get to see like it's one thing reading a book and are looking at ESPN and seeing LeBron James or you know Tiger Woods or whoever role models are versus us bringing somebody hey this guy made 500,000 just by doing commercials so just on that aspect the kids they really gravitate to the music program and we let them know like it's a like hey if you want to be successful you got to do good in math you got to do good in reading because all these people it wasn't just music class it was all the other classes together then if it's the other way around because we got some kids that you know that come to music class i don't want to do music but then we tell them, no matter what, if you get a regular job, if you're working for the street department, when you come home at work, off of work, you're going to listen to music just to relax your mind. So we know that the music class is very important, whether if they become very successful at it or if they just have a regular job or a doctor. So, it's, you know, like Mr. Early said, it's the universal language. So that's why music is very important to the kids. Okay, now Mr. Early, with this being the universal language, how does music or uh, even moderate success in music, how does that have an impact, a direct impact on the individual's self-esteem? Um, on their self-esteem as far as, you, 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 I hope I want to answer the question. Can you repeat that question? Okay, in terms of a person's uh, self-esteem because 
uh, this area is a huge sociological mixture of kids having dealing with all types of things. And uh, one of the common denominators, denominators that we've noticed in trying to enlighten them or direct them in a direction is uh, the self-esteem, reaching their self-esteem so, so that they'll be more self-directed to want to engage in what you're doing with music or um, athletics or math or anything like that. The self-esteem to where they want to do this themselves. How does... Music play a part in yes. Um, ba basically how I see how music play a part with self-esteem because most kids will listen to music before they listen to their parents in some in some cases um, music um, has now became almost a, a, a third parent to our kids you know so um, when they listen to music they do take what these people are saying you know to heart and through music it does give them a voice and 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 um, not only give them a voice but build that self-esteem because they know the person who wrote that song feels exactly the way they feel and they and then they're not just alone in it and if they're struggling with anything they know hey I can always listen to this this is this is help motivate me to get through uh, whatever situation so as far as their self-esteem uh, when we when we teach our class is it's definitely little milestones that they get um, along the way of just having to learn how to write a rhyming couplet and that's just like a what we call a bar or whatnot um, for them to just learn that and learn multiple which turns into a verse those are short accomplishments that we praise them along the way like yeah you got to keep going but you can say it like this and always make it better so now they feel like ah, I can do anything and through music I, I believe if you're one of those creative people, creative people run the world. So these kids, when they hopefully when they leave our program, that they feel that they can run the world because they're creative, they're not inside the box, and they can do anything that they put their mind to. So as far as their self-esteem, that, that self-esteem to me is just knowing that they can accomplish anything. So I, I think through music uh, and, and writing and producing and all the aspects that we have in our program, um, really build self-esteem on the smallest level to, to the biggest level. So, so now as you as you wind down here, you know, Mr. Smith, you know, what do you want to add where where when you teach these kids or help them develop a skill that's been latent inside of them and, 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 and bring it out, why is it important for them to want to share this gift with people younger than them so that we can create a situation where each one teach one you know, because a lot of times a kid can get through to another kid, whereas we can't. Um. Well, just to answer the question, the um, easiest way I can answer it is, um, where? How can I say? It? Okay, I just say it like this. The way it's something about music that I feel like. It's like a certain glimpse of successful people that when you learn how to create music, it gives you that sense of, of, of a thought, of an idea. And this is what, this is our, if we can't pass on anything else, this is one of our biggest things we try to pass on through our music program. The fact that you thinking of a rhyme, you thinking of a note, you thinking of an instrument, you are creating a song. That creating process, we letting the kids know if you believe you can make this song about getting good grades, you will get good grades. If you believe about if you believe about making a song about being healthy, it will happen. So that's what we are. We are feeding our kids positive messages through the program so they can pass it to their kids. Because somewhere in our community that has been lost. Even the it's like the whole arts period. It's like it has been a gap that's just missing and nobody know what happened to it. And they making our program secondary when we tell them, if you can make a song in our class, then you can make an A in math. You can make an A in language. You can make an A in social studies, which will get you a scholarship.
which will make you go to the next level, which will provide a better home for yourself, which will give you the right thought process of being a responsible adult, which will lead to you picking the right mate, which will create a good family. So if, if we can succeed in that, then that's the job that we want to do. And uh, Mr. Earl, do you want to add to that? Yeah. Um, uh, what he said, I mean, it's all about just building from generation to generation. We want to instill um, a positive message into every kid that they can do whatever that they put their mind to um, and, and, and start, you know, closing this generational gap between being lost and being... Um, um, what I would like to say, not from being lost to being found, I guess, um, of, of knowing that they can be successful. Because a lot of kids in, in this urban community that we serve um, have no idea what success looks like, have no idea on how to become successful. Um, and so we push in that that you know for excellence i mean and it goes right along with thurgood marshall's um, uh model you know high expectation no excuses we push them for excellence in everything in every aspect of their life um and music is just something that is around us um no matter where you go in your car at home at school you know you you see it you listen to it on radio uh, on the TV, so um, we just giving them something to combat with the lack of what they're being taught, whether it's at home or throughout the community, and really giving them a sense of purpose of of belonging to a community to try to make something out of themselves so they can pull somebody else. And so that's how we start a change in the community, I believe, through our music program. We have done, have been successful doing it with, not only with me and Mr. Smith, but the team that we have around us that's actually in the music industry from Grammy producers to songwriters, you name it. We exposing these kids to to that because they need to know what success looks like and how to be successful in the process to become successful. So, Thank you both very much. Thank you.